you are watching the Dr. Nandy Show. Thanks for staying with us. You know, when the tiny 3D printed heart first made headlines, I'll admit it, I was a bit startled. Despite the fact that I'm entrenched in medicine, I'm also super fascinated by this 3D printing concept and how close we are to making this amazing technology a reality. So joining me now is doctoral candidate Nadav Noor, a scientist who was part of the Israeli team that created this 3D printed heart. I'll tell you, I'm very excited about it. Uh, welcome, Nadal. Thank you for joining us. Great to be here. Thank you. Awesome. And you, you know, this created headlines all over the world. Can you share a little bit about how this heart was made and, and what type of materials you used to make the heart? Sure. Well, uh, actually, we made uh, uh, many hearts, uh, printed lots of hearts, uh, not just one. Um, the idea of the technology that we invented here is to use the, the patient's own materials and cells uh, to create these uh, tissues or, or hearts. Uh, actually, we take a small uh, tissue biopsy, a fatty tissue biopsy. We separate the uh, cells and the remaining materials, and uh, we now know how to take the, those cells, reprogram them to become uh, stem cells, and then we can differentiate them to become uh, heart cells or uh, blood uh, vessels forming cells. Uh, in the other side, we take the remaining material and uh, we process it into a gel. Combining these two, we know how to make uh, two distinct bio inks, which this is the thing that we print actually. Uh, and using those two materials, we print the we printed the heart and the also uh, other uh, cardiac tissues. That's Actually. amazing. Uh, you know, it's, it, you're listening to this, right? If most of us are just amazed by it. This is not your traditional printer that you have attached to your computer, right? So it's 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 conceptually a printer. How big was this heart, Nadav, that you that you that you you and your team created? Uh, so the. Um, the hearts that we printed were about uh, 2 to 2.5 centimeters high. It's very small, I know. Uh, it's about the size of uh, a rat heart. Uh, however, we believe with the same technology and larger printers also, uh, it will be uh, not a big problem to print a human-sized heart, which is the size of a fist, about the size of a fist. Um, but this will take a long time. I mean, uh, the small printed heart took us about uh, uh, four hours to print. Uh, human heart size, a size of a human heart will take, I think, uh, probably days. That's still uh, still amazing. You know, he's talking about a, a, a printing a heart about, about an inch across, you know. And, and these cells of the heart are not synchronously, uh, they're not contracting, they're not communicating. And it may take time to grow. Tell me about that concept. What does that mean? So uh, we printed the, the heart cells in the right positions, also the blood vessel forming cells. Um, and uh, each cell by its own is contracting. I mean, they are alive and they can contract by themselves, but they are not working together. Uh, also in our, in our natural heart, the cardiac cells, the heart cells, are communicating with each other using uh, uh, different tunnels. Uh, but this process to develop these tunnels and, and communication uh, processes takes time. The heart cells need time to communicate with each other. One of the biggest problems we have with transplants of the heart is that you can react because it's someone else's tissue. Well, if you own, use your own cells and tissue, you know, it, it's amazing that you, don't, you may not have to worry about rejection. And this is exciting, isn't it, Nadav? But, but here's really? what, what yeah. I want to thank you about, that you and your team have have given all of humanity a, a lot of ideas and hope, and it'll, and it'll spur interest around the world to do more. And so that's the idea. You know, we take ideas that are, that are born in your lab, perhaps, and, and, and we'll take it all over the world. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. You're clearly in the lab again, and, and you're, you're working, so I appreciate you taking the time. Have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you so much. And the idea is that this gives us so much uh, hope and ideas for the future. So many of my patients are waiting for transplants. Uh, and, and so if there's a glimmer of hope that we can actually create this, it's phenomenal. So uh, amazing, amazing stuff. It's time for a break. Coming up next, I'm discussing 3D Bio Inc. and how this technology could be a real game changer when it comes to extending lives. Stay with us.